Hey guys, welcome back to the Windmill Workshop. I'm Kent. Shop dog down here is Callie. Hey, you baby girl. For some reason, she won't leave my side today, so she's everywhere with me. Uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about some hand crank winches that I uh, picked up over the years. This uh, one right here. This one right here is a Gold Foundry and Machine Works from Independence, Missouri. Uh, there's no weight rating on it, but I tell you, this thing will pull like you wouldn't believe. Let me uh, get you a little closer here. When I got it, it was kind of rough. Uh, nothing broken, just really, really dirty. It had been sitting in a guy's basement for who knows how long. I've got it mounted to a plate with a receiver tube on it. Uh, it can go in the receiver tube in the back of the truck. I've actually got three receiver tubes back there, one at each end of the bumper, and of course the, the pulling one in the middle. And uh, just a couple weeks ago, I pulled a buddy's uh, 2014 Chevy half-ton extended cab pickup onto a car dolly or onto a, a car trailer and uh tell you what it worked like a dream i did have i got it with a snatch block so you can double it up i've got like 30 feet of quarter inch cable on here i decided after that job i needed some more cable we had to use some chains and kind of mess around i'm going to order some 5 16 cable for this probably 100 feet should fit on here just fine and make this winch even more useful it's got two speeds you got the high speed here and then pull the pin you got the low speed over here I'm gonna flip it open Hey, this thing will pull like a mother. Um, best part is, <laughs> you don't need any batteries. Just a little bit of hand power and away you go and you can move a lot of heavy stuff with the truck. I've got a winch on the front uh, that I don't have hooked up at the moment. I've just got, I've got to order a cable for that as well. Just haven't gotten around to doing it. But this one in the receiver does a heck of a lot of, heck of, a lot of work. I've also got a receiver tube on my big trailer that I can use this in as well so that's that one and then uh, we'll move over to this other one this one's a BB Brothers out of Seattle Washington uh, it's a sure worm winch 500 pound capacity and it's just a little worm drive unit don't have this one mounted to anything but it's just got a, a worm worm gear that you can use to uh, winch stuff off with a 500 pound capacity on it so uh, this one I still have to make a mount up for but uh, that's for another day all right guys there's my collection of hand operated winches if I see any more at a sale I'll probably get them because I really like these things I like the old mechanical uh, aspect to them and anyway, if they don't need power you're not gonna kill your truck battery um, and they do the job. So, all right guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.